Hi everyone, Josh from DroneSense here, and I am very excited to share some of our new Ops Hub functionality with you all. So today, what I want to show you is the newest iteration of our Magic Video Link functionality. In the past, Magic Video Link went hand in hand with mission codes and mission sharing, but in this new iteration, the two functions have been separated and Magic Video Link no longer relies on mission codes. So let's dive in and take a look. Here I am in Ops Hub, and over here in Mission Manager, what I'm going to do is just select one of our missions. And you'll see when I do that, we have a new icon here across the top. And this is the new icon for Magic Video Link. So I'm going to click on this link. And you'll see right now, we don't have any links associated with this mission. I'm going to click Create Video Link. And you'll see we get a simple dialog box that pops up asking us for three pieces of information. It's asking us for a name. I'll call this Test. Start date and an end date. Those both look good. So I'm going to click Add. Now you see we have a magic video link created for this mission. You can see that we can see start date, end date, number of views, the last time this link was viewed. We can see that same QR code here. We can copy it directly to the clipboard. We can edit it or make any changes that we need to, or we can simply just delete this link and start over from scratch. Now here's where things get interesting. You can generate multiple links for a singular mission. So maybe we've created this first link that's going to last us, you know, the entire duration of the mission. Uh, but maybe we're going out and working with an outside agency and we want to give them this live stream for just a small period of time. What we can do is we can create this video link and we can call this one shared and we can adjust the date accordingly to where this link is only available or only active for a short period of time. Or maybe we want to push it out for a longer period of time. So I'll push this one out to the end of next month. And you can see now we have multiple links created around this mission. So again, maybe you want to share this to a specific group for only a small amount of time. However you choose to utilize this functionality is totally up to you. But based on the feedback that we've received from you all, this was a key function that was needed. Before we wrap up the video today, I want to talk about notifications and how notifications will function with this new Magic Video Link uh, iteration. So going forward, if I close this out and jump over into the mission information, you'll see we still have the ability to push out notifications with those same triggers. We can send it out to different groups. We can send it out to groups of contacts. We can limit the time that these uh, notifications are going out. The way notifications will function with this new Magic Video Link functionality, whatever link you have created within a mission, let's say you create multiple links for every one of your missions, your notifications are going to send out the link that will expire in the shortest amount of time. That is the link that will get pushed out with your notifications. Now, if you just create a singular Magic Video Link per each of your mission, you don't have to worry about this, but if you're creating multiple links across your missions, understand that when we send out the notifications, it's going to send out the link with the nearest expiration date. I hope that makes sense to you guys. As always, if you have any feedback, questions, comments, or concerns around this new functionality, you can always reach out to us directly at help at Thank you all for your time today. We really hope you enjoy this new functionality.